If you're going to try to go back and understand your life, you have to know who your parents were and who their parents were and why they behaved the way they did. And, you know, parents are supposed to be able to look at their children with eyes of love Mm -hmm. and reflect the child back to them through eyes of love. Mm -hmm. But a lot of parents have duct tape over their eyes Mm -hmm. for various reasons, depression, Mm -hmm. whatever, Mm -hmm. bipolar, addiction. Narcissism. Yeah, and mm-hmm. so you, you you have to understand that, and, and, and so you have to really study. So that picture at the picnic, when I was writing my memoir, I took all these. I have lots of pictures. My dad didn't like to talk much, so he stood behind a camera and took a lot of pictures. Mm-hmm. And so to really study those pictures, yeah. um, you begin to, to learn who your parents were and, and who their parents were, and you begin to discover that it had nothing to do with you. It takes so long. It wasn't your fault. They had issues they were dealing with, and their parents had issues they were dealing with. And our task is to find out what those issues were, to forgive them and ourselves, and be sure we don't pass those issues along. I was thinking about when you had Vanessa, your first child, and knowing what, knowing what you had come from, when that child came into the world, were you scared? Were oh, you, gosh. Were you? I, I, uh, when I discovered I was pregnant... I was in a nursery. Actually, I had bought a farmhouse outside of Paris, and and uh, I was going to nurseries to buy trees. And I suddenly felt nauseous, and I knew what it was. Hmm. I knew that I was pregnant. And I remember going to my car and sitting and just terrified because this was absolute proof that I was a woman, and that meant I was going to be destroyed. Again, it goes back to the mother. Mm-hmm. But then once I had her, I liked, uh, well, I loved being pregnant. You did? I did. What did you love about that? I don't know. Hormonally, I guess, you know, I come from a long line of depressives. (laughs) So I think that that depressed gene was gone for a while. It came back after I gave birth. Uh But, um, you know, I talk in the film about how I don't, I wasn't a very good parent and how I regret that. And And I'm trying to make up for it. Really? Is there still time to make up for it? There's think? always time. It's never too late. Yeah. Yeah. When you say you weren't a good parent, how do you know? Like you Because probably... she tells me. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> if I had said that, if I had pretended that I wasn't a good parent, she would have written a book. Like Mommy Dearest. <laughs> what were her complaints? Like, what did she say? Well, I didn't show up for her. Remember uh, what I said about duct tape? Yeah. Yeah. And it w- was it because you were busy with? acting and things or was it because I became an activist shortly after oh. she was born and I was off and I was on the barricades and I was traveling around the country you know talking to soldiers and talking to native americans and and I didn't bring her with me I should have uh-huh but did... other people who couldn't afford nannies or who didn't have a who, whose child didn't have a really good father would take their kid with them and but Vadim was a good father he was yeah